Now, you guys, our guest calls today and all this week is a nationally syndicated radio personality straight out of New York, just like me, <laughs> from iHeartRadio and Power 105.1's hit morning show, The Breakfast Club. I know all you guys watch. Everyone, give it up for Angela Ying. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. We're so excited. We've had you here before, yes. but it's your first time like this, and you're going to be with us all week. Yeah. I'm you so know? excited, man. It's nice to be with the ladies. You know? Yeah. Oh, thank see? you. Well, we have to say congratulations, though, on the success of your show, The Breakfast Club, where you are with the guys, DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God. Crazy Charlemagne. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations to you guys, because you guys are killing it. Congratulations oh, on the Emmy you. nomination. Thank you. Thank you. Also, the fourth season of The Real. I remember when y'all first started, so this is exciting, and it's an honor to be thank here. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thank you. This is crazy. What about love? Now, Angela, there's news with you, too. You just got back from your vacay. Beautiful Jamaica. Yeah. And I understand that a certain photo of yours got a lot of attention. Uh -huh. oh, no. Okay, well, Ooh. you go on vacation. Oh, oh the leg up. Ooh. Yes. Yes. You got to toot it a little, you know, just Ooh. to... The right angle. But listen, it was just a bathing suit shot, and we all have those. Yeah. On vacation. Yeah, I saw many... some nice ones of you, Adrian. I've seen no, 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 oh, no. How many drinks was that after? <laughs> it's, it was all inclusive. Let's just say that. Okay. 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 I hear that. When you say you got a lot of attention. Was it positive or was it negative? Yeah. I think it was positive. Okay. Hopefully. And if it was <laughs> negative, you won't see it because I deleted it. But. Okay. okay. I get that. I will say, there was a certain amount of time in my life that I never took pictures with the backside. Because you know how I am. I'm like, there's nothing real. I can't look back at it like that because I'll be like, where is it? Right? <laughs> <laughs> then, Adrian, you hooked me up and I was able to learn how to get that pose down with a little arch. Exactly. So check this out because I took Ooh. that same photo. <laughs> No shot. I love it. No shot. <laughs> that's just, that's just poke it out. Yep. Arch your back. Change you know? my life. It's about the angles. Thanks, girl. See I love that? that. Okay, so since we're keeping it way too real, right? Okay. Are you ready to keep it real for girl chat? <sighs> of course I am. Okay. <laughs> She's in the breath like, yes. whew, let's go. I feel you. All right. Actor Tyrese recently caused social media to explode in response to comments he made during a BET interview on how he feels women should conduct themselves. Take a look. Don't settle. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, now this might be harsh, but sluts, skeezers, hoes, tramps, and overly aggressive, promiscuous women, they're never without a man because they don't have no standards. They're ready to have sex with any and everything they want to have sex with them. Now you got women that are out here active in these streets. They go on to lunches and dinners every night. Private planes, mega yachts, it's cracking. They're never without. However, it comes with a cost. You're going to put a lot of miles on yourself down there. <laughs> Come on. <Ooh. laughs> now, after being dragged... Tyrese took to his Instagram to apologize, saying, in part, quote, my mother taught me better than this. My intentions were there, but my delivery, yes. horrible. Yes. And for that, I sincerely apologize to all of the ladies. This is about a man owning up to his actions, taking responsibility, recognizing how to do better, and actually doing better. Ladies, you deserve better. <laughs> so, ladies, I have to ask, do you feel um, that... There's an issue with people categorizing women like Tyrese did in the video. Absolutely, because he's forgetting that, yo, it takes two to tango. Right. So when she was in that bed doing whatever, why aren't you calling out your brothers the same way you did the sisters with the choices they well, made? Well, first of all, what they did wasn't wrong. Those sound, sound like women living their life if mm -hmm. they own yachts and, and enjoying yeah. themselves. Yeah. I, I don't want to oh, Why do you think so many people were offended by what because he said? Because first he started off good. He was like, you know, women don't settle. I was like, that's nice. Dude. Yeah. Sluts, skeezers, yeah. thoughts. It's like, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, you know what? Part of being single is being able to do what you want, do it safely. But you can have sex with men if you're a single woman because you're not locked down. And right? it doesn't make you those shameful titles right. that you threw out as an example. But I feel like you should only be offended if you feel like you're one of those things. 
But nothing is wrong with... Ugh. If you heard like, that, if you heard that, I'd be like, all right, he's doing the most, expressing himself, but... But I feel like... Well, he's labeling women, and he's not putting the blame also on men. That's what I'm and saying. And first of all, he married, so what you worried about us <laughs> promiscuous women anyway? <laughs> us promiscuous women, yeah. Well, I, I, I right. put myself in yeah. that. If that's what you want, you know what I mean? Right. But it's like, I give it up to somebody like Amber Rose. Amber Rose said, my vagina, I do what I want to with it. You ain't got to worry about it, so... <laughs> Yeah. Just don't sleep with my man and we'll be okay. That's all. I think that's the lesson of everything. I mean, I definitely was one of those women who held out for mm -hmm. some time. And even I got put in a category. Even I got a uh, name called, like, uh, lame. Uh, Rude. Swear, Rude. Or whatever. Um, and I think where he went wrong, and I'm happy that he actually apologized for it, is that even though I chose to live a different life, I didn't judge others who chose to do the exactly. opposite. Yeah. And I didn't name call. So the key is, is, even if you have a message, you have to be very careful about your words. Yes. Please uplift each other. Don't, Don't break us yes. down. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. the whole point. Yeah. And Tyrese was sticking with those very same women that he was talking about before he got married, exactly. I'm sure. So, of course. You know. so and if we, can you be, know. if we can keep it 100, there are many men and women who think that same way that he does. So I understand that he's vocalizing without thinking yeah. uh, to shame women who make those choices. But for me, having come from two sides of the spectrum, because after I call them the pre-Jesus genie days, <laughs> but I had those days where I really enjoyed dating and being open with my sexuality and having intimate relationships and, 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 and really liking who I was then. And then I also enjoyed going, wait a minute, what if I put a pause on that and see what other parts of Jeannie comes out when you put that on lock? And I really loved who she became too. So what I think you've got to do for anybody else who judges like that, know that person's journey, journey. is their own. And you can't, you can't describe what they're going through to make those decisions when it comes to well, being intimate. Well, also, too, Jeannie, you don't know what those women are doing. You can't assume because they go out to dinner every night that they're every night yeah. that's not you know you yeah. trying to put a label on that you don't know you know what women if women are living right. their lives they're living their lives my point is he never said anything about the, the about the when did he Brother. become a doctor first of all <laughs> okay you know how, you gonna be whoa out down there and all who, how, who are you to say that i mean i just have an issue with men that judge women like that and the whole point is at one point you must know those supposedly type of women because you was dealing with it or you got hurt by one or something like that. But putting labels on women, that's not cool. And the thing is, the reason why he apologized, it wasn't because he thought he was wrong. He got dragged. That's why he apologized. He said his wife was yeah, even he upset. Like, you know, he said his wife checked yeah. him about it. It but, took a woman to do all of that. Yeah. So he still really think that, but now he had to... And he also had a movie coming out, too. <laughs> I'm going to say that, Shut too. Up. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask the controversial question, which is what... What do you think labels somebody as a slut? What, what do you think the definition of a slut is? Society's definition seems exactly. to me is a woman who sleeps with multiple men. I think that, am I right? That's what society thinks. I don't know what it is in the dictionary, but that's, but or the word- Or a woman is just, or something like here's that. Here's what's crazy is that the word got built towards a woman who chooses to have that choice in her life, which is just her choice. I can't believe a word became that way because of that choice. I, I can't believe that a woman, that, a, that most of the descriptions that he shouted out, ski, slut, hoe, all those things, Actually, to me, when I was growing up in school, we're always towards a woman. Right. I don't yeah. actually hear men towards no, that. No, there's no, there's no slut term for a man. Right. The thing is, is that those terms... Now they call them man right. sluts, but, you know. Yeah, but right. man whore. About that. The point is, is that they made these terms to, to embarrass women. Mm -hmm. Yes. To keep women in control, yes. you know, under control and make them think something is wrong with you if you enjoy being with this, this, or this, whatever your business is. I'm not saying that... You can't look, like, you can look at somebody like Amber Rose. We don't know what Amber Rose does. I know that Amber Rose has fun, but can you say, um, unless there's... You're there. Too, you can't say yeah. that she's sleeping with every dude that she dates. But yeah. it's funny, Drake can go out with a million women, and we don't look at him crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, Whereas nobody with says women, anything. we do that. Like, we see J-Lo with a different dude, and I'm like, I think she getting her life. But everybody, you know, she keep dating. It's, it's like, we put this undue pressure on ourselves as women and it's all so that women can be controlled women don't have to be controlled mm -hmm. we need to be equal if we say we're going to be equal mm -hmm. then let everybody live their lives and stop judging people yeah.
Someone else who's been speaking out on women this week is Janelle Monae, okay. who graces the current May cover of Marie Claire as one of their fresh faces of 2017. Doesn't she look amazing? amazing. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. I love her. I love Janelle yeah. I love her. While discussing the future of being female, Monet posed the idea of women going on a sex strike, mm -mm. saying, <laughs> in part, quote, <laughs> people have to start respecting the vagina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Until every man is fighting for our rights, we should consider stopping having sex. I love men, but evil men, I will not tolerate that. So, ladies, <laughs> do you think that a sex strike is the best way to bring about change? Angela. No. Well, I'm going to say no. Why does everybody want us to not have sex today? Okay. <laughs> I know. I, first of all, I don't have sex with evil men. so I think In I general, yeah. And that's like a punishment to me. I want to mm -hmm. have sex more, not less. I do think that if you can abstain from having sex, you explore a different side of yourself and the partner when you guys push the, the, the pressure of that off. Like my dating life, when I held back from having sex, was awesome because I met men mm -hmm. who didn't focus on that and the pressures of that were removed. And just like you remove one of your senses, let's say you take away your eyesight, your ears become so much more heightened, your touch of feel, your sense of taste. How is this going to change the world? I, I, it's it's not it's her. Is this, I understand I, I this, think, but I, I understand. Have, I do, you know I understand what you're saying. I've been through that. Well, yeah, well, because but here's how. In this, Adrian, happier, um, wholesome people who don't put so much pressure on sex, because sex sells. That's the number one thing that sells today. You put up a picture of you and your kids, it's going to be a different picture than you, like, having a salacious moment. You know, like, right. it's just, just the, word, Jeannie, the way the world is not. Here. We're talking about, that's like a personal thing. That's yeah. when you explore. You did yeah. that for yourself. Because yes. every woman should go through that. Yes. What yep. she's talking about is to try to change men by withholding. She, first of all, she strike. saw the movie... Chirac. In Chirac, mm -hmm. that was the basis of the movie yes. that these women stop having um, sex. They would help to stop gun violence in Chicago. And that doesn't change because you know why? Those <laughs> sluts was having sex. With Shut them. up! <laughs> Shut up! She went there. Um, I, oh. So I think it's a different. What she's you, trying to say. You is think that really could work? Change men. Real talk. When I kept, when I held back from having sex. I met some of the most amazing gentlemen who pulled a different side of themselves to the table because they knew that I wanted to see something more serious about them. I'm not saying a man is going to be a better man or less violent if he isn't right, having right. sex, but I say you, you, you hold him to a different level when you remove something that everybody becomes more lustful and more animalistic over. So is he going to fight for women's rights because he wants to and have yes. sex with you, and or think, is he going to fight for women's and, rights? And honestly, you guys, when I, when I heard about this topic, I was a little bit confused because I wanted yeah. to know what her stance was. Mm -hmm. I believe in your stance. You're talking about relationship yeah. right. um, and valuing yourself as a woman and, yeah, and finding out other positive qualities and elements in a relationship uh, outside, outside of, of sex. Mm -hmm. She is talking about the changing guns down. like the world. mankind and, and changing world. And to me, I'm like, there's, we have so much more strength as women, not just to just focus on the, the, the sex aspect. We can change that in other ways. We don't yeah. have to abstain yeah. from yeah. doing just something like, do you see what I'm saying? Yes, I'm seeing I do. it as, as, as a whole. I'm not going to stop having sex with my amazing husband yeah, my because husband. that person yeah. over there can't get it together. And those guys are guys with the guys with the Exactly. Not I'm not going to do that. I we love sex with my husband. punish the good guys because you got a couple of knuckleheads over yeah. here yes. that don't know how to get it together. I think, you know, what she's trying to say, yes, respect the giant and, and all this other kind of stuff. But, but in general, you should right. respect your vagina. You shouldn't be having sex with a whack with guy. With man. With exactly. an evil man in right. general. Like, in don't general. have sex with whack men that stand for whack things. How about that? Exactly. Yes. That's what I think. Yes. But I absolutely have sex with the good ones. Yeah, yes. like my, my husband. husband. But, but, but do you explore that if you ever did decide not to have sex just to see what that man is all about besides just the oh, sexual absolutely. part yeah, about it, you will get to know an amazing man. You know you, and yeah, there's no way to do. Girl, I waited till I was 29. Yes, and I you did, did and I remember I that. that. Yes. Boom. Okay. Yes. But. Yeah, I waited till I was 29. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but do you think that it actually could make a man change his mind of how he views the world? If he is a man that does not believe that women are equal to men or he is, you know, a pig-headed kind of guy, do you think holding out from sex is going to make him change the way he You know he what thinks? I think? I think that if we withhold sex from men, they'll just have sex with each other and forget about us.